All right, hey everybody, thanks for being uh, so patient with these videos. Back, okay, let's start. Hey everybody, thanks for being so patient and waiting for my videos to come out. Um, I do have one application that I would like to, pretty much would like the whole world to know about, and this is uh, a very handy application. This is called My Collection, and the way this works is it's designed to basically uh, keep a database of your CDs, your books, and your movies, CDs, books, movies, games, excuse me, those are the big ones. And it does that by a couple of different methods. And we will show you those uh, methods right now. You can see right now, I have you know, some books, CDs. I haven't included everything that I own in here. These are just a couple of things that, you know, I really just was having too much fun. Let's scoot in a little bit closer. There we go. So we got our, we got some movies in here. We've got s games, CDs, and you can also, what's pretty cool is keep track of who you loan out certain games and books and stuff to. So that's a cool thing. I do apologize if I sometimes fall out of frame. I'm, uh, I don't have a tripod just yet, so I'm trying to make do with what I have. Okay, so let's um, first of all, let's try a movie. Okay, we got here Stripes, one of my favorite movies, uh, one of my favorite Bill, Bill Murray movies even. Uh, so what you do is you go over to the movie section of the application, hit the menu button, and you get a couple different options down here. One of them is scan barcode, and I'm going to try and do this for you guys. And oh yeah, that's a that's a feature app that we'll be showing you a little bit later. I'll show you how I did that some other time. So we go ahead and take a scan of this barcode, which may or may not work right away. Waiting. 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 Oh wow, battery message, that was fantastic. There we go. We've scanned the barcode. And uh, sure enough, it didn't work. <laughs> How about that? Okay, well, what it's supposed to do is when you scan the barcode, it's supposed to give you um, a picture of what the cover looks like. In this case, that would be this. And it's also just supposed to give you um, some options. So let's go ahead and pick, um, let's go ahead and pick this. This is one that I scanned the first day. This is Casino Royale on Blu-ray. And you can see that here at the very top, we have the image of the movie, the title, if it's Blu-ray or not. And from here on out, you just kind of enter the information yourself. You have different genres that you can classify, the rating, uh, the quality or status of the DVD. If it's, you know, if it's been ripped up, you can just, just say, heck, hey, let's go to broken or poor or something like that. You can throw that in. Rental, you can just say if it's somebody else's stuff that you're renting. Um, and then you can also give it a rank, which I've done on some of my movies. Once you're done with that, you hit menu, go to save and bada bing bada boom you are in business you now have casino royale added into your database and like i said this is really cool if you have a lot of games movies uh... books cds whatever and you lend a lot of this stuff out to your friends and family it's a good application to have because you can keep track of where certain stuff goes when it was rented out when it's returned um, you know the quality of stuff before and after it was rented out so really like i said like i keep saying really really handy application and, you know, if the event that scanning the barcode does not work, what you can also do is go to a certain, you know, go to wherever you want. So in this case, let's go to game, let's go to new, and let's go ahead and uh, add a UPC. And I'm going to be using Indigo Prophecy on the PS2 for that. So we have our UPC, which is holy crap, but tiny. Uh, let's go ahead and add this in. Okay, so we've uh, manually entered the UPC. We go to lookup, and the way that this um, manual lookup function works is it scans Amazon.com for any UPCs that are similar to this. Uh, I found out that a couple of items, they do not work manually, but hey, some bitch, look at that. We've got it in. We've got Indigo Prophecy right up top. You can see the image. So um, let's go ahead and categorize everything. Uh, if you guys have played this game, this is more of a thriller 
sort of game. Okay, let's go ahead and throw that in the frame. Apologize for that. Scrolling, scrolling. Well, I don't really have Thriller in here, so let's see what else. What else could this be considered? Uh, RPG is probably good. You do uh, take take the role as one character. Um, rating, it is rated M for mature. So we go down, rated M for mature. Okay. Status, uh, we'll say it's good. It's not a new game, but it's good. And I don't know why, but it doesn't scan uh, the rest of Amazon.com and add in, you know, the information in terms of rating uh, the system that it's for. So this is um, just a little, you know, tedious stuff, but if you don't mind doing it, then there you go. So we have everything information. Oh, I'll give this game a 4 out of 5. It was a, it was a very good game. I'll say it kept me entertained. Okay, so now Indigo Prophecy is ready to go. Look at that. Go ahead and select it. There's all the information that we just spent a good, I don't know, minute or so inputting. So, again, this is uh, my collection. There are two versions, I should say. There are My Collection Free and My Collection Pro. I don't know what My Collection Pro um, does differently from My Collection Free. I'm assuming maybe you have better options to export it, email stuff. Uh, maybe the stuff downloads quicker, or maybe you don't have to input all the information yourself, maybe you just scan the barcode and boom, it's done. But uh, My Collection Free is, as you would guess, free, and it pretty much does everything that I need an application like this to do, a database storage unit, I guess you could say. And uh, would I recommend this? Like I said earlier, yes, if you have a lot of movies, games, CDs that you lend out, uh, you got people coming in and out of the house that take stuff without really asking. You got pesky brothers and sisters that don't really return your movies. This is a good way to keep store of that. And also, it's kind of cool because, like, you know, whenever you're out with friends, there's like, hey, do you, uh, you know, you want this album or something like that? You can just look up, oh, I do have that album, or I don't have that movie or something like that. So that's a pretty cool way to keep track of it. And also, it helps if, you know, someone like, hey, I want to buy this movie for somebody, or if I want to buy this movie for your dad, does he have it? You can scroll through. Yes, he does. Don't buy it. Get something else. I think you guys get where I'm going from here, okay? So like I said, My Collection Free, uh, what we just reviewed. There's also the My Collection Pro. I haven't really seen what that does differently from My Collection Free. But if you guys are looking for this type of application, go ahead and get it. Highly recommend it for you. And uh, if I had to rate it based on a 1 to 10 scale, I would probably give it an 8 out of a 10. You know, it's a very solid application. Uh, there are a few minor things that are very buggy. For instance, we, show, we saw you with the uh, Stripes DVD. Sometimes it scans, it, sometimes it catches the barcode, and then it just phases out. It doesn't really do anything. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I'm not really too sure what causes that. Sometimes it was just weak connection, but I got full 3G in here right now, so I don't understand why that would happen. But anyway, that's just uh, my little forewarning there. So my collection free. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this, and stay tuned for more.